Okay, mathematicians. So yesterday we did a number sense routine called um, a number talk where we looked at a number sentence and we tried to challenge ourselves to solve it in our minds. Today we're going to do another number sentence. And we're going to think about doing a similar number sentence. Let's see, what would be a really good one for us to try and use? Hmm. Let's try. Do you think that is something we can work with today, mathematicians? Okay, so let's try it. Let's first read the number sentence. 21 and 16 leads to, or another way we can say it might be 21 plus, oh sorry, did I say plus already? I think I did. 21 add 16 equals, when we're reading number sentences, there are lots of ways that we can read them. So whatever way you feel like reading the number sentence as long as it makes sense with what we see on paper go ahead and read it that way but let's see if we can take one minute to ourselves and think of different ways that we can try to solve it in our minds ready three two one one minute think Okay, stop. So let's see what are some strategies that we can come up with. And again, I asked you to solve it in your head. For some of you, that might be an easy challenge. For others of you, you might have felt more comfortable actually trying out to write out the strategies on paper, and that's okay. Let's just see what are some different ways that we can solve this number sentence, 21 plus 16. Ready? Well, to start off with, I think just like yesterday, probably a lot of you tried to do the first strategy that we did together where we started by putting 21 in our heads and then counting up 16 more. So I'm thinking some of you either did this in your head or showed it on paper and to represent it and record it, it would look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and I'm stopping right there because I'm adding only 16 more. So to solve what that number would be, I would have to go back and label these bumps. Ready? 2, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Oh, wait. Mathematicians, did we just write another number sentence today that leads to 37 just like yesterday? Huh. That's interesting, isn't it? It's almost like Miss Juarez did that on purpose. Well, Since we did this strategy and we counted up to 37s by 1s, then we actually could label this as counting on or up by 1s. 
because that's exactly what we did. Even if you did this in your minds, where you started by putting 21 in your head and then maybe using your fingers to count up all the way to 37, if you, it sounded anything like this where you went 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, even if it looked like that, you were counting up by ones so that would be an appropriate way to record it because it will represent exactly how you solve it. So let's see another strategy. Ready? I'm thinking just like yesterday, probably some of you maybe took that 21, but then looked at the number 16 and thought, wait, is there an easier way for me to add that 16 to the 21 using friendly numbers. You might have done something like this, where you broke apart the 16 to find a friendly number like 10, and then afterwards add that friendly number to the 21, which you probably found that leads to, what is it? 31, good job mathematicians. And then at the end, use that six to add to the 31, which if we can use this in strategy to count up, one, two, three, four, five, six, we would find out it would lead to 37. For some of you, you might have said, you know what, that is so easy for me. I can easily add six to 31 without needing to do counting up by ones. And if you can do that very easily, then that means you practice your number facts and you practice counting a lot. So great job, mathematicians. But if you still need to maybe use two strategies to solve a number sentence, that's okay too. So then for this strategy, we actually have to write two strategies um, we for this one counted by chunks and counted by ones there we go and if we were to use the same strategy we used the other day at the bottom right here, where we actually broke apart both numbers into friendly numbers, it might have looked something like this on your paper. Let's see. Did you see what I did there, mathematicians? I broke apart the 20 from the 21 to get 20 and one. I broke apart the 10 from the 16 to make 10 and six. Then I combined the 20 and the 10 together to make 30. I saw that I had a six right there and I can, I, well, I did actually, I did make it into an even friendlier number by making five and one because five and one make six. After that, I added the five to the 30 to make 35. I added both ones together to make two and then I added the two to the 35 to make 37. So for this one, I broke each number into its place value. Now don't forget mathematicians, if you're doing this at home, challenge yourselves to come up with other ways that you might have used to solve this problem, whether it be in your head or you might have actually 
say to yourself, wait, I actually can come up with even more creative strategies to solve this number sentence, but I would have to use paper. And if you want to try that, go ahead and do it. But either way, I can wait to work with you again tomorrow. Okay, that's my dog scratching her pillow. Anyways, I can work with I can wait to work with you again tomorrow. See you later. Bye-bye.